Using the data generated by Atlas Analytics Roy is really a three-step approach. First, the GDP forecast. Second, the price target. And then third, trading if and when you feel comfortable. But what should investors trade with GDP predictions? At Atlas Analytics, we use an event-driven macro approach, which means we like macro-exposed ETFs, such as the QQQ, which tracks the tech-heavy NASDAQ, the SPY, which tracks the S&P 500, and the DIA, which tracks the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Another ETF that we like is the XLK, because it's similar to the QQQ in that it tracks technology, but is cheaper to own and less expensive to trade through derivatives. It seems like common knowledge that the broad indices respond to changes in GDP, but can we prove that through the data? Through a cursory glance at these graphs, it appears that GDP is at least associated with a change in the broad indices. A further deep dive in economic wizardry through regressions confirms it econometrically, which brings us to Atlas Analytics' three-step approach. First, we get a GDP forecast. We got this in our last video, 2.7% for Q3. Second, we plug this 2.7% into our economic models in order to make a price target for the broad indices. Then, with the price target, we're able to compare that to where the indices are actually trading to see if it's over or undervalued. And then third, if you feel comfortable, trading Atlas Analytics. Here we can see all four broad indices are about properly valued as of Friday, September 27th, indicating that the economic malaise story may be abating. But what should investors trade if they want to take advantage of this? We'd suggest two strategies, either long calls or bull call spreads in order to take advantage of the upside surprise when GDP is released in October, or if you think that the market is about properly valued, which it is, trading options such as iron condors or iron butterflies, which takes advantage of when it's in a continuation pattern. Subscribe, visit our website at www.atlasanalytics.info or tweet at us if you'd like to learn more.